So today I'm going to install the Starlink into my Airstream. And I'm going to use this cable connection area and modify it so it'll be easy to put in when I'm traveling. So I've removed the plate that the cable, coax cable comes through and I've placed the Starlink cord all the way through and you can see I've drilled a hole in this Airstream cover and modified it and put the coax near the top and then have just a round hole that I'm going to put a uh, coupler in there to attach the um, Starlink cord to. So now I need to cut this Starlink cable and put these RJ45 ends each end. So I just cut these ends with these cutters here and now I'm going to uh, peel back the gray covering and make it into a um, fitting for the uh, RJ45. So I've cut the cord and I pulled the gray covering off. I'm just using an old pocket knife to do it. I don't have these special kind of tools. Once you cut around it, it just You want to go ahead and peel back this foil. It's actually called the shielding. So you want to go ahead and peel all of this back and remove this shielding. Be careful with this drain wire. So go ahead and put them in the proper order and then put on the RJ45 connector. So you want to spread out the wires in such an order so that you can put on the RJ45 connection. And you want to ensure that the drain wire, which is this metal silver wire, is hanging down. And you'll circle that around once you get it the RJ45 connector on. So I was able to get the RJ45 connector on there and it was not easy. And I've got the drain wire wrapped around the last three wires, the green, white, brown, and brown. And now I'm going to crimp it down. So I was able to get one of these RJ45s on the end. And clamp the drain wire down as well. So I'm going to work on the next one. So I was able to get the RJ45 connector on both ends of the Starlink cable and I plugged it into this coupler that I purchased through Amazon and modified this holder that came with my Airstream to add the coupler in the center and then drilled a little hole to move the coax cable for the TV set. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the coax for the TV set back to this cable TV holder thing and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like inside. I have the coax TV attached and also the Starlink cable on the inside and on the exterior. So I'll go ahead and put this back onto the Airstream. 
So this is what it looks like completed on the exterior. Definitely aesthetically pleasing. And then the cord. To the dishy. So this is my closet. And inside the closet, I pulled out the panel that uh, lays on top here. And this is where I pulled the cord in for the dishy. And pulled it right through there. And I used a fish thing for cords to pull it in. And then I removed this piece of plywood here and brought it behind here so that I could put the panel back in and put stuff in the closet. I will say that it was definitely a challenge getting that cord through the uh, various layers there in the airstream. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge, but anyways, got it through there. And um, not that difficult, but you did have to take a little bit of time with the fishing. So this is the final destination where I'm going to be keeping the uh, Starlink and the Jackery that I just recently purchased from Home Depot. And I still have room for my clothes.